The story of the film opens on the 18th of March 1987, where a walk-in CBI interview is taking place, held by Ajay, Ajju, Singh and Pramod Kumar, B. K. Sharma. The scene then transitions to a flashback. Uddharan. Ajay calls a local police station to obtain more manpower for a CBI raid. He speaks to SI Ranveer Singh who agrees to send the required number of support officers. Ajay, with accomplices P. K. Sharma, Joginder Khurana and Iqbal Ali, meet the supporting officers and conduct the raid. Uddharan, following the successful raid at a minister's house, it's revealed that Ajay and P. K. are fake CBI officers, along with their two accomplices. They then move to different parts of the country where they belong to and merge into their everyday lifestyles. Ajay's love interest, Priya Chauhan, an about-to-be-married teacher, is introduced here. The crew meets again in Chandigarh at the behest of P. K. for his daughter's wedding. Ranveer with his senior officer meet the minister of the earlier raid who reveals that he doesn't want the news to appear in the public domain because he wants to protect his image. The senior officer suspends Ranveer with his colleague Shanti for being irresponsible. Uddharan Chene, Vaseem Khan, an honest CBI officer lives with his wife and child in New Delhi. A disgraced Ranveer meets Khan, and they join forces to apprehend Ajay and his accomplices. Uddharan. Meanwhile, the next trade planned by Ajay is conducted on a trader's business in Calcutta, with the raiders posing as officers from the income tax department. Following the more difficult but successful raid, Khan insists that this should be reported in the newspaper, despite nobody coming forward to report it themselves, as black money is involved. Upon seeing this in the newspaper, Ajay and P. K. Decide to conduct their big job, a final raid in Bombay. Meanwhile, Ranveer finds information about P. K. and Khan orders wire tapping his phone. When P. K. is talking to Aju on the phone, Khan procures several details about them. Under Khan's orders, officers track the crew to Bombay to a hotel where they re staying. They plan to raid and hence rob a big jewelry store. Uddharan, Ajay, followed by a CBI officer, goes to a newspaper to advertise for 50 dynamic graduates, with details of an interview. Khan embeds his officers among the candidates and they are selected. Khan finds out the details of the training process, which includes a mock raid. It is stated that, on the day, the candidates will be trained and then led out for the mock raid in the afternoon. Uddharan. To find out more, Khan and Ranveer go to the hotel and force their way into Sharma's room. He divulges the information about the raid. Following a threat of violence, he also mentions that Ajay is taking revenge on the CBI for not appointing him. Khan orders Sharma to ensure everything proceeds as normal. On the day of the raid, Khan takes charge of the jewelry store and replaces the goods with fake jewelry, with the originals being moved to the jewelry store's own workshop. Ajay informs the recruits that he will come in a different vehicle to them. P. K. leaves with the recruits in a bus, but leaves the bus at police headquarters, saying that he will arrive with Ajay. He also states that nobody should leave the bus until they arrive and that he is going to verify the paperwork for the raid at the police HQ. In reality, he goes to meet Ranveer and Shanti. With Ajay, a raid of the workshop is carried out. Ajay then goes and meets Priya, who is ready for departure at the airport. Meanwhile, at the jewelry store. Khan is informed that the raid was conducted at the workshop and all jewellery in the workshop, along with the jewellery that was moved was stolen. Khan works it all out for himself, realizing that Ranveer was part of the gang and he wasn't a real police officer and they were set up right from the beginning. 
Khan starts laughing loudly and applauds the entire robbery plan and execution. Later, Khan receives a money order for R.S. 100 that Ajay had taken from him with the message that he could not steal the honest earnings of an officer. The film ends with Khan being told over the phone that the CBI has information about the perpetrators. At the same time, Ajay and P. K. are seen enjoying a cricket match happily at the Sharjah Cricket Association Stadium.